Welcome back. It's your boy Rico. End Zone Entertainment. You got to say your full name. You're Rico Lumpkin. <laughs> a lot of Ricos in Atlanta. Y'all right. got to know this Rico right. Lumpkin. With the, that's history <laughs> right there. In fact, I've known this man since 95, 96. Yeah, like mid-90s, dude. Yeah, this dude sure. has taught me tips in the game, yeah. in, the, in the presence of greatness. And, and speaking of greatness, instead of introducing him to you, I'm going to let my man Toomp tell you a little bit about himself. Well, in the house with Rico Lumpkin, man. I'm the one and only ATL beat banger, the Atlanta Hawk, DJ Toomp. That's T double O M P, taking out others making progress, the one and only monstrous producer. However, you know how we break down acronyms. But um been in the game twenty years. Well, I can really say twenty one years, producing a whole lot of artists out of the South, you know, from two live crew, mm. working with Pause and Clan, DJing for different groups, you know. I used to do a lot of battles. do too many club dates, you know, club joints. I wasn't really a club DJ. I was mostly just doing True. tricks on the turntables. Okay. Pioneer. Trying to, yeah, trying to see who I could battle. He gave you know? the, the the dang pioneer to the yeah, to the turntables. So, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a true, you know, like I say, starting from '82, I'm a true hip hopper. You know what I mean? True. Me and Sleepy Brown, and my boy Ben, all of us used to pop lock together back in the day. So mm -hmm. I've been through the the dancing side of the game. So now you from <clears throat> ATL though? Born and raised. Um, I was from New York. Who would come down here with mixtapes and stuff. So that's how I was kind of up on a lot of this hip hop stuff okay. before a lot of people, like in the early early '80s. Right. You know, my cousin used to tell me about Grandmaster Flash setting his turntables up like in the middle of the park, but mm -hmm. there wasn't really nobody doing that down right. here outside of a radio station road show. Sure. I caught on at an early age, and when I was DJing, people still didn't really even know what it was. Just mm -hmm. like when I started messing with beats in 85, you know, I had drum machines. Uh, take y'all other producers back who might know, mm -hmm. I was working on the Drumulator, which is made by MU, the yeah. maker of the SP-1200, the Proteus, and all the other modules that everybody uses. Really, like... I was ahead of the time, ahead of my time, yeah. honestly. You know what I mean? Yeah. As a Trend producer, yeah. yeah, just people looking at my little drum machine like a like a spaceship. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, what is that? I'm like, yeah. yo, you make beats with this. So, um, being an ultimate producer mm -hmm. as yourself, what defines an ultimate, in your words, an ultimate producer. What defines an ultimate producer? A producer that can actually go in a booth or either speak from, you know, either side of the glass, whether you're behind the board or actually behind the mic. Somebody who can, if you're producing, working with an artist, you can actually truly produce them. Like if they're not in the right right key, you should be able to sing how, whatever note they should be in. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Uh, for rappers, uh, putting too many words in a, in a verse or don't have enough or just the pattern just not right, as a producer slash, you know, artist. beat pro, you know, artist, yeah, yeah, whatnot, you can, I can actually tell them, like, hey, man, nah, you should say it like this. Mm -hmm. And they kind of look at me like, damn, you know, what the hell you know about rap? But like, come on, So interpret it. Yeah, yeah, I can man. just really, you know, harm it, the whole melody out, you know what I mean? So just right. as well as being able to do that, to guide a project, you know, to really take control, if you see there's no control or any type of... Uh, guidance going on in a situation i mean as a producer you should be able to step in and say all right man this beat been going for 20 minutes ain't nobody wrote nothing i'm getting ready to come up with an idea oh okay you know what i mean yeah. tell me what you yeah. would want to do or what you wouldn't do mm -hmm. you know what i mean you know you got to be able to bring that out of an artist just to oversee things man and know what a good mix sound like you know it's really your ears man you know what i mean okay you can go to school all day for a whole lot of things but your know, your gift your blessing is really the ears you know what i'm saying I don't care how many engineers out there or producers or, you know, anybody around this can tell you, you know, like, all right, we got a book that tell you how to mix. It's still based on what you hear. 